Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of uh, RC stuff. We're going to talk about this controller. No, really we're going to talk about this. Which is what that controller goes to. Yep, we finally picked it up. A Sin Racing F450 Super Duty DL Series. It's a 110 scale truck. Uh, four wheel drive, solid axle dually. Uh, I'm sure y'all probably seen this on... Uh, YouTube or on some reviews. We finally got our hands on one and it is the burgundy one um, Thought about holding out trying to find one of the older blue ones, but we went ahead and went with this one Let me go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Hold on Like I say 110 scale it has not been ran yet and that's what that controller does go to uh, I've already had it out of the box hasn't been run yet on the ground, but uh, We powered it up this thing. I'll show you in a minute. We're gonna run it on a Traxxas uh, battery this truck only runs 2S unless I change out a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to start out running it on a couple of these right here. One at a time, just a uh, straight up Traxxas 2S battery, factory connection. I'll show you all that. Let me go ahead and get the body off and we'll talk about this thing. I will leave links and stuff in the description. I'm not going to go into all the uh, technical specs on this thing. You can read it. I don't feel like going over all that, but uh, I've got some goodies ordered that's going to go on it. I'll show you those in just a minute, but. Before we take the body off, just got your standard body clips. I do wish they would have come up with a better way for that. Um, those look a little tacky, but here again, this thing here ain't a hump jumper. It's a, um, it's not a track truck. I guess it could be. It'd be a little rough, a little heavy. Uh, be kind of rough on it. But anyway, we're going to get a trailer set. I've got several plans for this thing, but um, let me go ahead and get the body off and show you underneath. Like I say, pull the pins. I got these ugly pegs sticking up through the hood. I'll wish they would come up with another way uh, to mount that. I'd gladly buy another body. Let's go ahead and get the body off this thing. There we go. Let me show you the underside of the body before we get too carried away with it. Right there. Uh, a few things I'd like to change. I may undercoat that with something just to kind of help hold it together a little better, help to protect it. Like I say, I'm not going to be running this thing out the track or nothing like that. Just uh, up or down the road. Got a few ideas planned with a trailer and stuff. Anyway, let's get into this. Right now, it comes, as you've seen, with a molded uh, front bumper on the body. Got this foam in behind it to uh, protect that. We got we got some goodies I'll show you in just a minute. Got a single, um, what is this engine? Ah, there it is. There's a number on it. Like I said, look in the specs. I ain't going over all this. Battery tray. I ordered another one because you can get a higher milliamp, 70-some uh, hundred, which is longer, it's still a 2S, which is what I have to run. So I bought an extra battery box, as you can tell. That one will fit and will work, I already had it in it, but I'm gonna have to split the other box I bought. There's room, stretch it out, the battery will still go in the same place, but I'm gonna have to get a you know longer battery, a little more runtime. The connection, uh, right there is the, this little red one right here is the end of the uh, factory. Where I bought it, they uh, went ahead and welded, sorted that up for me right there so I could connect a Traxxas battery to it. Like I said, you could change a bunch of this stuff and go ahead and run a, and probably will in the future, uh, a higher, uh, like a three cell, four cell Traxxas battery. But we'll get into that right now. Uh, I just want to show you this thing. It's got, uh, it's, it's what you'd expect for, you know, you can't, this this is not a track truck. It's It's just a, Build a trailer, haul your cars around, uh, showpiece. Uh, there is, however, some of them on there. They've done quite a few modifications. Bigger motors. There's one on there I saw with a little gasoline. Uh, well, it burns nitro fuel, a little engine on there, which, I mean, that guy's really, really put in some time. You can do body lifts by adjusting these pegs. I do that some. We've got to do a whole lot of work in this area. Let me get the goodies that goes with it, and I'll show you. And yes, if you're wondering if they've got accessories and upgrades, yes, just like Traxxas. Like I say, here's my other battery box. It's, it's the same factory battery box. I'm going to go ahead and modify probably the one that's on there and just hang that one up in case I want to ever go back. These things are, I don't know what all to say about them. Look here, what we've got here is gooseneck hitch. I mean... I don't know if you can see it in the pack. I'm not going to take it out until I'm ready to put it on. But we'll, we'll go into a video on that. I'm putting all this stuff on. It goes in between these uprights. you got to bore that hole right there in the center of the bed out. That one right there. Bore it out. And it sticks up through there just like an actual 
fifth wheel, gooseneck, ever how you want to talk to it, talk about it. Hitch, it's it just I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. The rear back here, as you can tell, it's already got a uh, a receiver hitch on it. But it's tucked up under it like it's had a really bad day. We're expecting to. So what we went ahead and done is bought this one. It's an aluminum trailer tow hitch. Comes with this, all in aluminum. And what they've done in this kit I bought, there's two different ways to do it. You can buy one in which you replace this frame rail from right here all the way back and extends back to here, which lets it come out where the back bumper is. Now, this time for right now, I elected not to do that. I bought the one to where you go and you unbolt all this, take it off, and you add a little extension out. I don't know if you see it in there or not. It's in there, right there. And extend the frame out and put the new, this is plastic, but put the new aluminum hitch back there. It all comes out the same, but I just went ahead and bought this one little kit. Now, bumpers. No more molded into the body plastic bumpers, no. No, we got these, which we got to modify the body to do it. Now, I didn't buy the light kit yet. The light kit goes there and there, and the front bumpers I got the same holes for, uh, excuse me, holes for uh, bumper on it. It's got tow hooks and everything. So we've got to go ahead and put the front bumper, back bumper, which is going to be, all that's going to be saved for another video once we get um, a couple more things done to it here. You can get suspension lifts. The, the, the possibilities on these things are, are endless. I flipped it over for you to take a look at the suspension, the drive line, transfer case, transmission, four link setup, front and rear, stabilizer bars, of course, dual or single front wheel, dual rear wheel. Now they do they do make aftermarket wheels and tires that are oversized. I'll get into that later. Right now we're just going to fix it like it is, do a few modifications to this thing, and have some fun with it. Like I said, it's not a track truck it is a haul your track truck to the track truck just go with that let me stick the body back on here once again there it is all put back together like i said these bumpers you have to go and cut all those out all the way across through there now i might buy another body later but i'm gonna go ahead and modify this one because i plan on putting the bumpers eventually it'll have a lift kit uh, i am going to level the front of it some way because like in real life i don't like them doing a nose dive nor do I like them doing a Carolina squat. That just, that just, uh, if the thing's squatting in the rear, it better have something hooked to it heavy. All right, well, that's all I'm going to talk about on this one. Like I said, check the links below for any of the technical stuff, all that. Ain't getting into it. Got one more thing to show you. The Rustler. I know I didn't show it in a previous video, but we're going to be working on this one. Actually, I'm going to put a link at the bottom. There's a local track opening up. Uh, about 15 miles from where I'm at um, we're gonna have our first they're gonna have their first practice session rather on on Thursday night so I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, factory shocks off this thing they're horrendous and we're gonna add a different set of shocks on this thing just got through oiling them up while ago off camera so let's jerk the body off this thing and uh, we'll get it that these are the ones we're gonna be using I got them off Amazon I'm not sure about the brand um all aluminum okay except this piece right here of course but all aluminum just got them oiled up i'm gonna throw them on they're not they're not a big name brand they're gonna be a whole lot better and they are adjustable than what's on it so let me go ahead and get those on there i'm not going to bore you with taking uh, eight screws out and putting eight screws back but i will show you the end result be right back huge difference from the beginning of the this segment of the video as far as the drop in the uh that changed the entire thing. I may have to adjust a little bit on the stiffness on the, these things are adjustable, but it don't slap the ground. The underneath don't slap the uh, bottom no more when it hits. So I don't know how this thing's going to handle. Yes, it's stock except for those. That's the only upgrade to it, but we'll take it over and run it. Um, we're just practicing, just playing. It ain't going to compete with, you know, the actual guys that race these things, but we'll get out there and have a little fun. Now, one thing I do have planned, let me snap a body back on. I want to show you something. I bought a piece of this uh, black acrylic plexiglass, just a little thicker than what I meant to have. Sorry. But I'm going to cut a piece of it, pre-drill holes in this plastic right here. Cut a piece of this plastic to lay, and I'm going to bolt it down, screw it down right there. My plan is...
I want to get a little footage from running these things over there, get a little footage from being out and just bashing these cars. Now, I know my GoPro is going to take a beating and probably get destroyed. But anyway, that's just, I guess, part of it. We'll just have to rebuild better. And uh, anyway, I just want to show you all that. Thanks for watching. If y'all like the video, please like, share, subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.